By looking at the scatter plots that you're seeing right now, you would assume that if we're going to compare the strength of the relationship between graph letter A and graph letter B, we would say that graph letter B has a much stronger relationship between graph letter A. But in reality, they have the same values or same um, number of points in this particular scatter plot. And for today, we're going to learn how to uh, use a statistical measurement that will give us a numerical value that will tell us the strength or the relationship with regard to their strength between the two quantitative data set. And we call it the correlation. Now, in statistics, correlation is denoted by the letter R, and it measures the direction and the strength of the linear relationship between two quantitative variables. Now, with correlation or the R value, Values, the range of values of our correlation in statistics is between negative 1 and positive 1. Both negative 1 and positive 1 values or numbers that's closer to negative 1 and positive 1 will give you an interpretation of a strong quantitative relationship. And once your R values or correlation value is getting closer and closer to zero, that means that the relationship between the two quantitative data set is getting weaker. Now let's have a small experiment on how we can understand the correlation better. In this little experiment that we're going to do, we are going to um, study or observe how the correlation value changes as our scatter plot or the formation of our scatter, scatter plots along the line is getting closer or getting farther and farther away. So let's say we have two individuals and let's say that this particular experiment is giving us the height and the arm span of uh, some of the students in our school. So let's start with two students. Now this is student A and this is student B. Now you, you will see that by using their data set we have a positive relationship because the correlation value is equal to 1 and it's positive and we would also say that it's a very strong linear relationship and it makes sense because if we draw a line between those two it will give you a perfect relationship because it's both lines will just fall in your linear um, graph that you're seeing right now. Now we're not going to use two individuals in our experiments. Let's say we're going to add 10 more individuals in our experiments and we will collect their height and their arm span based on this particular experiment. So let's add 10 more and let's see what will happen to our correlation. Let's use some individuals that's really getting closer and closer to the line and you will see that the value of our correlation is changing and in this particular relationship adding 10 more individuals we have a very strong positive linear relationship between the two quantitative data sets that we have because of the R value that we're getting which is right now is at 0.7832. Now how is this going to give you a weak relationship? It's going to give you a weak relationship if let's say the individuals that we are collecting is spreading on our scatter plot and you will see that now the correlation after adding uh, a few more individuals in our data set, our R value is now 0.299, which shows a very weak relationship. And judging at the graph that we have in our scatter plot, we would say that the, it really has a ve very weak relationship, especially if we get rid of our line right here. You will see that we it's it's the behavior of the graph is positive, but the relationship between them is really weak because the dots is just all over the place. And if we have more individuals right here, we will be able to create a negative relationship if we start adding individuals in this data set. So you will see that the behavior of our scatter plot now is becoming negative because more and more individuals are forming a negative value of our linear regression. Now, if we are going to draw a line in this particular relationship, we would see that from positive, now our line is going downwards or negative. The, the behavior of the two quantitative data set is giving us a negative value of R and the relationship is getting pretty um, 
strong, well, it's not really that strong at 0.47, but we would see a relationship between the two quantitative data set. Now, let's have another experiment on the value of R and how it will look like in a scatter plot. Now, in this particular illustration, we have six scatter plots and we have six R value, a correlation value. If we're going to start with R equal to 0.9, we would say that the relationship between uh, the two quantitative data set will be fairly strong and the direction should be positive. So among the six scatter plots that we're seeing right now, we could eliminate some of uh, the scattered plots that will not match to 0.9. So we would say that one, two, and three is not going to be considered in our choices and as well as number six because number six is clearly negative so we would say that r of 0.9 would be matched to our fifth scatter plot and if we're going to match r equal to negative 0.3 so we have a negative relationship so if we're going to eliminate some of uh, the scatter plots there so five is obviously eliminated and we can also eliminate number six because it's pretty strong for negative 0.3 so i would say that among the choices that we have we could choose the second scatter plot as a scatter plot that will give us r which is equal to negative 0.3 and an r equal to 0.5 is positive and not strong as 0.99 so we would choose graph number three for a scatter plot that would probably give us an r value of 0.5 and if we're looking for a scatter plot that would ma match an r value equal to zero which means the relationship between the two quantitative data set is really weak it's going to be our first scatter plot that we are seeing right now and for the two um, our values that we have right now are of negative 0.7 and are of negative 0.99. We would say that 6 will match negative 0.99, which is really strong and negative, and R of negative 0.7 will be our fourth scatter plot. So that is how we um, estimate the value of R so that we will have a better understanding of the numerical value that we will be able to solve in the future and finding the relationship between the direction and the strength of our two quantitative data sets.